Hey everyone, how you doing? So, PBZ3, wow, what a game, am I right? I don't think it's really a surprise to anybody at this point that this game has gone through a pretty turbulent development cycle. I mean, the project was first started around 2019, and apparently the concept art goes even further back. Oh my god. And while I could sit here, pull a redhead gaming, and give you a brief breakdown of what's new in the soft launch, I'm not gonna toy with you guys. I think the game is boring. That's the worst of it. PBC3. You're just a big, sad, painfully dull bore. Yep, I'm being serious. This video is going to be tough, because I hate being negative about a franchise I love, but this is different. This is tough love. I need to say what I want to say about the game, and I have some issues. Considering how PopCap is actually trying to listen to us too, I figured I'd throw in my two cents on what's good and what's bad, but I'm not going to hold back. So, without any further ado, let's dive into PvZ3, the game that is fine, I guess. Okay, so let's first discuss what exactly makes PvZ1 and 2 such solid games. I think this is a pretty good starting point, because it's easy to look at the third game in its own bubble and think, this, this is, is fine. fine. But when you compare it to the first two, it barely holds a candle for several different reasons. First of all is PvZ1. It's slow, methodical, and calculated. Every level is made to be a challenge, one that isn't hard once you know what you're doing, but also isn't easy, as you need to think about what you're bringing into every single one. The gameplay is simple and to the point, which works in this game's favor since your defense building is what takes center stage here. As for PvZ2, the strategy is more expanded, as there's a lot more variants in plants and zombies, as well as the gimmicks such as plant food. There's also a lot of puzzle solving going on here too. Sublevels force you to use specific plants a lot more frequently than PvZ1 did. So overall, both games tend to focus on strategy first and foremost, but there is also some puzzle solving due to gimmicks. So what the hell happened with PvZ3? Well, the game doesn't have selectable seat slots. Now this might immediately seem like a negative, and in some cases, yes it could be, but the game isn't going down that normal path. No, it's trying to be a puzzle game first and foremost. Oh, okay, that's a bit of a weird switch. I don't know how to feel about that. On one hand, I want to say it's a good thing, because they can focus on making the levels unique. But then you look at the levels. Oh brother, this guy stinks! And hey, there's not much variety here. So the experience is just you going through the exact same shit almost every single level. And there's not a whole lot of differences between level 5 and level 100. Oh, oh no. no! Okay, so I think you can see my issue with the game here. PvZ3 is a big bore. When you're using the same few plants, fighting the same few zombies, using the same few stage gimmicks, and more, yeah, that's understandable. I respect anybody who is able to put up with this because me personally, I can't. I can't oh, man, put up with this. My patience for this game was ran dry the second I found out that there was dynamic difficulty added, and it actually punishes you for being too good at the game. When it was in PvZ2, it was fine, because you could still play the levels for a good while and probably not even notice it. But here? No, after a few wins, you definitely pick something up, because what the fuck is this? That's not fair. Come on. Another gripe I have with the soft launch is that it's barely different than the betas we had before. I lost all of my footage for the last beta, but going back on the videos I made during that time? Yeah, this is the same game. I don't think they changed a single thing besides adding difficulty. That's sad. You would expect the differences between the versions to be noticeable, but you want to know something crazy? I've been showing you older gameplay for the entire paragraph of the script here. I'm not kidding. And I'm willing to bet that you probably didn't pick up on that switch. I think that just further proves my point here, and that sucks because there's genuinely some good positives here too. As an example, I really like the art style. It looks good. It's chibi in a way, but I'm a very big fan of that style. It's super neat, and honestly, I'd love to see even more plants and zombies in this art style. Except for guards, please redesign them, they're fucking hideous. I don't like that. Zomboss also looks pretty off here, but eh, when has he not looked off? I also do like the idea of having these minigames and events. Like, killing zombies in specific lanes is a really cool idea, and it's actually designed here pretty well. But that's about it. Everything else is meh. Not bad, not good, 
just meh. I wish I had more to talk about, I really do. I mean, Base Breaker came back, and it's piss easy. There's the level challenges, which are kind of cool, but eh. Oh, and there's the story too, which has Tugboat. I'm just gonna say it here, I don't like Tugboat. He has one joke. One joke, and it's not funny. If I could punt him across a fucking football field, I'm kicking his ass. So listen, I could talk about PvZ3 more. I could. But at one point am I just adding to the negativity with how I feel about the game? You know, not talking about the game for a few weeks has given me a bit of a unique outlook. In the sense that I've realized that there's simply not much I feel like talking about. Because I don't feel passionately about the game. Like, the game just doesn't matter much to me. I'd rather be playing PvZ match any day of the week over this. And that's not a joke in the slightest, I'm being completely serious. Truly, what I've been saying in this video are my real thoughts on this game. It's boring. And I won't lie to you and say that I think things are going to get a lot better in the future. There's a pretty damn good chance that this is what we're going to end up with. But PopCap is listening to us, and I'm so happy they are. We can't change the course for this project, but we can throw in our own opinions and hopefully see something much better come from the mediocrity. So here's my proposal. Variety. This game needs so much of it. You want to know why I didn't complete all 230 levels of the game that are available right now? Well, it's because I couldn't get past the feeling of deja vu, where every level feels the exact same. It just eats at me. I can't play a game that feels like the same thing over and over and over again with nothing keeping me interested in playing. It feels so poorly thought out, and the new gimmicks and ideas that get thrown in don't add enough variety to fix that. So I just want to see more. I think the levels here are the problem too. Like, you're only doing tower defense levels. How about you throw in some puzzles too? Like PopCap, do you remember Begooled? That would be fun to play. Also, an occasional change of pacing could work too, like throwing in more proper last stand levels. Anything could work, I'm just so tired of seeing this every single level. But besides that, there's not much else I care about. I think every single problem that I have with this game that's major involves the levels directly. It's fun to make fun of Ace Breaker and all of the other shit, but realistically, I think the actual game is the issue. The side stuff is whatever, I just feel like the game itself is boring. So with that being said, that's my opinion on PvZ3. If you want to try it for yourself, you can immediately do so in these regions, and anywhere else in the world with an ABK that you can find in Floral, link in description, on an Android phone and or emulator. So don't let my opinion discourage you. Please, try this game. You might like it. But as for me, it's just not my thing, I'm sorry. I hate being negative about it, but I'd rather be honest than deceitful. And I won't lie to you guys and say that this is fun. That being said though, what are your thoughts on the game if you've played it? Do you like this new direction, or do you think PBZ3 needs even more time? Tell me your thoughts and more in the comments down below. Also, if you're new around here and you like what you saw, then maybe consider subscribing too. It helps me out a ton, and you get to see more content that hopefully isn't as hateful as this, so stay tuned. Oh, and thank you to Dan B, Nicholas Bankowski, and Wapfa for being $5 supporters of my channel. I haven't uploaded more than three videos in the past month, so seeing my membership tabs still have members has been a very pleasant shock. Thank you to everybody who stuck around. Now, as for me, I'm just gonna play more match. I'll see you all later. Peace. Hey, Pop Cap. What were you doing down there when the wave hit? We were making PVZ match. Damn.